this is Rhea et al and you're watching Rhea by herself outside has opened up a little bit as you can see we're in beachwear because I haven't been able to leave the country so you know I have to make myself happy and just pretend that someone's here I've been going to like barbecues and apartment parties and I've been hearing all the songs that I told you lot about in my last video Woohoo! And I've been told to do another one of those because there's a lot of music that's been out since that's released so that will be coming up. I also made a playlist if you didn't know about that so you go and check it out. I will keep making playlists on topics that I've been talking about as well as the spontaneous ones that I make in general. So yeah. Right now I'm wearing Oh So Shady, so Cheryl, the artist that I spoke about in my last video that released Crushing and I also interviewed her a while back. She launched a sunglasses line so go check that out and support, support, support. Why are influencers making music? Now just a warning, I use the term influencers loosely here. To me an influencer for the purpose of this video is someone that has like a big social media personality, a high following count, like very high and um, everyone's always talking about them so yeah when i was having this conversation in private with quite a few of my friends i initially only spoke about females but there are male influencers making music as well and we'll get into that shortly why are influencers making music to me i think it's it's a bag thing so let's take it back to people on on camera in general we've got athletes so like footballers like memphis Depe, they've made music man he's into music as well apparently he's always been into music um tiana taylor's husband um we have actors and comedians like wrote an article on nine bills about michael dapper he made music for um big shack like hit the the character persona and um, a lot of this isn't really surprising to me like when people are in the arts anyway they kind of have the ability to kind of you know be fluid and go into other industries and be good at it as well or they originally they have a platform and a fan base so that that they, that they can manipulate people into supporting them anyway so yeah it's not really a thing and like ancient like greek and ancient roman times like before Jesus, after Jesus, they always kind of made music like playwrights and poets and actors. They all put music into their work. So music always finds a way in other people's crafts. Look at Cardi B. I think she's a huge influencer. She was on Love and, on, on Love and Hip Hop and it, it, was, it seemed as though she had a passion for music. But actually, she's come out and I remember everyone tried to cancel her for this. And she's come out and said that she makes music for the money. So I think it's another like it's another bag for all these influencers. I like to make hits. I like to make money. I don't really give a fuck about being lyrical. I don't give a fuck about this and that. If that shit don't work for me, I don't care. I like to make shit that's gonna make me fucking money. I like to make shit that's gonna climb me off the, on the charts. Like, that's what I want. I wanna be up top of the charts. I wanna make money. And it's ironic because she's come out and she replied to one of her followers and um, she's owed like 32 million in royalties well over 30 million in royalties and she's in litigation now so she hasn't actually seen any money from streaming so most of her probably most of her money has probably come from touring and endorsements but like she's like crazy rich already and like even in the bouncer interview um he dropped so many gems and that like, even broke down the like figure that was um being thrown at them for all the things that they were doing and like yeah, that was a good bag it's like five figures and that's like an upcoming person so imagine like what it is when you like are really up there in the charts consistently and stuff it must be crazy so yeah I, I i get it it might not always be a passion thing but it's a bag to make and like i feel like in general black people i feel like 
the reason kind of kind of one of the reasons why we run to music in the way we do in terms of like rapping and singing is because a lot of us have the ability there's like seven out of ten of us that have the ability to like sing write rap make beats etc like it's just in us like if you go if you're a church goer naturally you're gonna find yourself in the choir like i was in the choir i i, I can hold a note but my voice isn't that great you know and like i really liked music i did music gcse my parents encouraged me to play instruments and that's another thing that's that's what i think the difference between us and black people and white people is white people they love instruments they love composing not that we don't but i think that's the route that they would go to more so like in school we got all the people like playing all these mad instruments and stuff i didn't really see that um in terms of black people i went to a very diverse school as well so like i was i was on playing the flute the clarinet the piano the recorder the drums and so were my peers but like the black people tended to like you know write bars and sing etc so i think in terms of the way we go into music that's like kind of the division racially and that it's mainly because of education now let's actually look at their music yeah and let me like di digest it for you guys from my point of view and opinion and let's see if they really really should be making music so i'm gonna start off with ksi ksi male influencer youtuber does a lot of stuff on screen he started making music according to youtube about two years ago he started his first song with um big zoo it was all right song no one more riches making wishes for all these bitches yeah hitting so vicious making riches in all these cities yeah hey going shopping people popping for all these bitches yeah so far i don't know if this is because it's, it's the oldest song that's there that i've seen but um it's got hit the most views like compared to all the music that he's been making recently like he made a song called offset don't think that was good i don't really like the beat first of all I can now pretend if I don't. I can tell the fake from the fraud. I'll head checking cheers for the bank. I don't know why you would make a song with Offset and choose that beat. On the contrary, the song that he made with Swarms and Tion Wayne, I think was really good, it was really catchy, I'm not gonna lie. I, I sometimes find KSI cringe, but the way he was talking and the buzz and that, I didn't find it cringe at all. I could separate KSI as a person. From KSI, the artist in that song, I feel like it was really good. And his song Killer Kai featuring Ayana Lee, I thought that that was really good. And sometimes it's the features that he brings on the song that kind of makes the song better. <laughs> And, I, and it, obviously it's strategic, he knows what he's doing. He kind of has to have a feature on a song. Is it just me? I just want to confirm, yeah? Most of KSI's songs have all features in it. I don't know, I don't know he made music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just trying to confirm my sister because from what I saw, most of his songs had features. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't know he had as much music as he does out and with quite a few big artists like i liked his song with trippy red as well i think that was very good and the music video was very sorry trippy red yes he made a song with trippy red i know right and it's got millions and millions all these songs have millions and millions of views so i it's, it's his fan base his platform i'm not really like a ksi kind of follower kind of thing but if you if you fuck with him i'm very sure that you know what's up but anyway so yeah definitely i just thought that music is just another bag for him but some people are artists and they don't really start off you know polished or whatever i can kind of hear like he's not actually a musician you know but he has the ability to make it happen so for me i personally think yeah it's another bag like i said before now let's move on to the females so we have who should i start off with first okay the most biggest person that i can think of right now is ivorian doll and she is absolutely killing it and i say she's killing it because she is such a sick performer like if you look at the music that she made with Abigail, yeah, there's not a there wasn't a lot of females doing drill in it, and the way they polished themselves in the music video, like they could compete with the mandem that like, fully, like they had the holiday scene. Talking booed up like with Nelly and Kelly. You can never be my babe. Thought I was wrong. Thought I was bitching. Was your boy on the back seat digging my back? He said that there were no stitching. They had 
the the whip. Mad, 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 mad girl see me and move better. I'm a brown skin looking all cute, but they love my pics, but they hate me on Twitter. You can tell that they're really, really coming through to like do this thing they were trying in it. But when IVD went solo and she put more effort into her choreography. Insert that swipe input pin, clone ting. Only statements, my name's on is bank transfers in. Performances. I missed the drop on the pagan off. I missed the still got beats and it still got got. Run a man down in my Jordans, run a man down in my bar main top. Messy. Looks. If I fuck you, bust non stop. Celebrate. Go deal with them idiot for looks. I don't fuck around with no dick and gal who took a bag of shit on road. Look, cut a bitch animal cruelty. No lap by me niggas, fake trigger fingers, no heat. You ain't never packed. Like getting the extras in the video and making it like bigger and stuff. Like you can tell with Ivy D, she has she has a star factor. Like the way she looks, that like, she's very pretty. The way she packages herself as well. Like, you know, she's here to, like, you know, show stock kind of thing. And the dancing and performances and everything, she's got the whole package. So I can see why she would go through it. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's kind of ironic because Abigail, um, she's the one that apparently wanted to do the music in the first place. And, like, kind of, you know, rolled with um, Ivy D in it. But, unfortunately, she isn't flowing at a pace that IVD is and she thinks it's probably due to color colorism and while I think that colorism might have played a factor in that I literally think it's also her fault like all the content that I've people told me that um like Abigail did music in it so I wanted to go check her out and see what she's doing because I ain't heard anything but um the only thing I saw that was solo was her um, her single stupid. And don't speak when I stop you talk. You're dead meat, I don't eat pork. Don't like me, well, that's a bit dumb because I don't just beat when a man's just bored. I don't know if there's other music around that. I sense that I'm discerning hunger, man, I got tables turning. Got bars and I'm so chocolate, I'm so good, I'm so bueno. I feel like she kind of lives, she's kind of living in the passer and the shadow of Ivy D. Like, I want to see more of her, her personality, like what she's about and whatnot. Like, she needs to channel that through her music and like her branding and like just the content that she puts out so she's like individualized and separated because when i think about ivd i don't think about abigail but if i think about abigail i think about ivd do you know what i mean so like that's probably a good way for her to kind of express herself through music and make it that she wanted to who's knocking at the door like with rumors i think that's really catchy that was a very good um music video and a song i would listen to rumors whereby renee our fabulous sorry that's a bag Renee doesn't look like she has a musical bone in her body. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? Clout bitches broke, niggas, we ain't hearing y'all. Hope you hear me on your phone and your stereo. Little haters, when you hear me, just let me know. And like, when you listen to her song, it sounds like one of her friends, yeah, just thought, oh my God, let's make a tune, let's make a tune. And they dropped it, like. You know. I was at a barbecue this weekend and I was in the kitchen. And there's that it goes like the kitchen, the living room, and the garden in it. So I can hear music, but I might not hear it like as well in it. So when I when I heard the beat drop and everyone was like going crazy, yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, this sounds like a banger. What song is this? Bear in mind, I've heard this song before in it, but for some reason it just sounded fresh and new to me. Maybe because the sound was distorted because of how far I was from the actual speakers in like in two rooms down. So like when I went to rush and like see like what's going on. And I started hearing um, the vocals. I turned around and walked back, walked back into the house, into the kitchen. And I even saw a tweet that someone said that if they ever heard this song in real life, yeah, they would leave the room. And I totally hear you. Like, it just wasn't it for me. But the chorus is mad catchy. Not for me, but like for everyone. Like, I have a girl screaming, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, people are saying that and listening to it unprovoked like because it's so strong and catchy and i totally get it and that's the thing about um that like influencers and stuff like they know how to have the catchy kind of viral hooks and everything like they know how to make music fun because they're not going to be serious and like oh 
must must do this hair, must have to add lip to hair, must layer it, must get this future, blah blah blah. Like some like they're not thinking like that, they're just doing it for for fun and you can kind of hear that through the music. And that's what she did. But I must say, because you know I love critiquing music, if Renee from 113 of her song and I'm saying 113 on YouTube, if she used that bit, yeah, that okay, fair enough, she she should she, she should keep the chorus because you know, everyone loves it. But if she did her song from 113, I would have liked it. Because this little bit here is the kind of music that I think, sonically, that she should be making. Like, this is how her songs should sound. See, I don't like this bit. Because it's like... I've never listened to the whole song, you know. You have never? Wow, that says a lot. Yeah, I've never listened to the whole song. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, like, the way she's rapping and stuff, it sounds so, like, she's trying to be on beat. Like, she's trying to be on beat. Like, the way she's rapping and stuff, it sounds so, like, she's trying to be on beat and she's talking in it. Like, it's her voice. It's not like she's spitting. Mm -hmm. But then when she gets to this bit, it's like she speaks in patois mm -hmm. and it really works in me because it sounds like she's comfortable and it's her. It's her, innit? Yeah, yeah. But like before it was like she was trying to be this rapping person. Come a pretty pun inside, any side, any side, any side, any side. I'm 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 a pretty in a real life, real life, real life, real life, real life. Fuck fuck boys better be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice. Body like Miss Spice. Yeah, yeah, even the beat as well. And if they had like if they had like um taken a song from that direction and then maybe added the chorus, mm -hmm. even though it's jarring to me. Yeah, I've feel like that's so much better. Like even the music video was good. I liked the diversity in there. I felt like I could be in the music video and not feel a type of way because you know I'm a big thing as well. Now another influencer that um, has recently dropped a song and it's it was is it a debut song. I think it's the second song. I'm not sure. Is Yasmin Pink? And while she does a lot of controversial things, or says a lot of controversial things that people don't really warm to, I warm to the idea of her doing music. Now I sat like Yasmin's persona. Oh my. My legs hurt. Oh, let's stretch them. Yasmin's persona, like she has that hood chick. I'm not forcing it. I am literally hood, yeah, um, South London chick personality. And that is a bit of me. That is a bit of me. Like I've always wanted to be that girl. If I'm not that girl. Pull, pull, pull up with two man, not one cause them girl left me dead on the floor. Like Shavo said, this girl don't know how to post a start or war. When I'm flexing, posting, you man think that I'm just a fucking meek. By the time I'm done, I'll pull up your mums before you can finish your tweet. I fuck with it. So when I heard that she was doing music, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I even encouraged her, like, yeah, do that, do that. And like, there's been times where I've seen her like have snaps and stuff of performing, like rapping and spitting. And she has a stage presence, it suits her. And like, um, she can just like wild, not wild out, but she can go crazy, you know, like twerk and do all these mad things, and it works. It works for me. So when I found out she was doing music, I was like, yeah, 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 go for it, go for it. And like, she did her whole music video. She had her own like a whole prison theme. So it's like already she's trying to start thinking, starting to think outside the box with her concept. Yeah, what? Fucking, what are you telling me? Hey, you're on the thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> Man get gas when they see my ting though Went on a date, didn't stay for the bill though 2012, I was up in the can HMP, hold the way they shut it down And um, I remember she put up that she's gonna do um, What's that thing called? She's gonna do like Skeptors all over the house Kind of theme for her next video Which I think is so gonna be so controversial And she executes it the way Skepta did In terms of the levels of Oh my god, that needs to be removed from YouTube I think it's gonna be so sick and she talks like that anyway so she might as well just go out and do it and shock you lot whatever i and i've seen her singing a little bit she can hold a note i don't know if she's gonna start singing but yeah i feel like that's that's another bag for her as well but slightly i think she likes making music i can i can hear it in her i need to leave the room and sleep it's always late don't come back bye people they can't even hear you. <laughs> or see what they can hear you. Sonically, I like Lasmin's song. I liked her delivery. I liked her voice. You know, I liked the way she was kind of like aggressive on the beat and slurred. I liked the little dance she did in the video. Like that's another thing. Like I think she caught on from. I think she caught on from early as well. That you 
kind of need to be a performer as well to you know stand apart and some people are naturally performers i think actually she's naturally performer like ivy d natural performer anyway so yeah do you think this is actually going to be a new trend especially with female influencers making music trying to become artists some of them will rise to the top some of them might not but they're gonna try anyway and the way pages like UK Gossip and Made You Think are moving and that like reporting on everyone's kind of life and past or whatnot, I'm so sure we are this close to getting a love and hip hop UK kind of show. And it just works because it has to have like, the show has to be like music and drama and that's what influencers bring music. Well, these music as well, the influences that I mentioned, they both do not music and drama. So it totally works because a lot of female artists, I don't think, bring the personality. They don't put themselves out there with their personality and we don't get to know them as well as the music. It's just they're the music, do you know what I mean? So I really do see that kind of culture coming here. I know people have like, you know, said it here and here, oh, we're going to make this show, but it hasn't really happened. But I just feel like now there's actually like a uh, ecosystem for it to kind of thrive. And it might be good because it might encourage like female artists who like are genuinely passionate about music and do start music to kind of maybe show a bit of themselves more and like kind of merge platforms with other people. Like the way, in, like the way YouTubers kind of join up together and it, it's like it's like synergy and they kind of their fan base kind of merge maybe like artists and then ones that are like just naturally artists and the ones that have made themselves artists they can collaborate you know and it can just you know get bigger like I, another article that i wrote on iron bills is that um it wasn't an article actually when i was writing my article about all the duos that i think like the top nine right now like of all time um, and I did that based on their YouTube views and stuff. Um, I feel like I, d I wasn't able to pick a single female. I can't tell you one female that I know that have gone back to back quite a few times. And I feel like that's another thing that's holding female artists back. Like they don't want, they don't really want to keep collaborating with each other, like keep establishing this relationship. Like I thought we were going to get that with Miss Banks and Steph London, but we never. And for me, that was such an exciting time seeing females that make rap the island and like grand girls do it all the time but like they do it with like each other like they all go around it's not like they don't get the same two over and over again kind of thing but that for me that was exciting because i listen i don't really listen to grime like that especially females doing grime but i do listen to them rap and seeing two rappers that that making the kind of music that i like together i kind of want to see females like that make rap and that like, draw whatever they need to keep coming back like Abby Girl and Ivy D they weren't my kind of draw I can't lie it wasn't really my kind of draw so I didn't really tap into that but I think they were one of the best to to for me to do it in terms of consistently and building a platform together as well as being well they weren't individuals at the time but I want to see people building a platform together as well as remaining in their individual identity because you can dip in, in and out of both and that's what mandem do mandem do their own thing and they find someone that they work with well in the studio and they can make bangers with and they bang it out there and then they do their thing, thing separately you don't have to become an official duo to do it do you know what i mean so i want to see more of that from females so yeah watch out for my next solo video i'm off to record my podcast now it should be fun Debate, debate, debate about music. Woo!